This is Candy Apple TV with DIY Queen Diva. Have you ever had pumpkin pie caramel apples? Hello, I'm DIY Queen Diva and welcome to this caramel candy apple tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to make delicious pumpkin pie caramel apples using my regular North Carolina caramel apple recipe. First, start by making the regular North Carolina caramel apple recipe by combining two sticks of melted sea salted butter. If you do not have sea salted butter, you can just use regular salted butter or unsalted butter. Take note, if you have unsalted butter, just remember to add a pinch of salt, one cup of light corn syrup, one cup of regular sugar, one cup of light brown sugar, one cup of sweetened condensed milk. Add that to the pot as well. Don't forget to add one teaspoon of butter vanilla or regular vanilla for that extra flavor. To turn your regular caramel apples into pumpkin pie caramel apples, we will be using terrain pumpkin pie syrup. Add a splash of this delicious syrup to your caramel mixture. Next, stir all the ingredients together and let it cook on the stove, continuously stirring until your caramel is ready. You will know it's ready when your candy thermometer reaches 235 degrees. Then take it off the stove. Your caramel should be looking like this at 10 minutes. It should be boiling. Now your caramel should be looking like this at 15 minutes. The color should be turning a darker tannish brown color. Now your caramel is ready. Take it off the stove. Add a pinch of pumpkin spice. I had forgot to add this when I was adding all the ingredients. So you can add this at the beginning, just a pinch. Once your caramel is done, you will test the thickness of your caramel. If the caramel looks too thin, let it cool off until you get the desired thickness. This is not what I want. The caramel is too thin, so I will just let the caramel sit until it gets a little thicker. So the more you cool off your caramel, the thicker your caramel will be, but you do not want to let it cool off too long. So I am testing it now. Okay, this is my desired thickness that I am looking for. You can now dip your apples in and coat them with the rich and flavorful pumpkin pie caramel. Let them cool and enjoy the perfect combination of caramel and pumpkin pie in one apple. I'm telling you, I just ate this caramel by itself. It's so good. And then I got so greedy, I added some pecans in it as a little snack. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I want to try this pumpkin pie caramel on red apples. I usually don't use red apples and I know it's not a good idea to use red apples when you are making caramel or candy apples, but I am going to break that rule and I am going to go get me some red apples and slice them up and dip them in this wonderful caramel. I think this will even be much better with a sweet apple. Oh my goodness. I was able to make 12 pumpkin pie caramel apples. I used the apples from Walmart in a bag, so I was able to make 12 with this recipe.
If you like this recipe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more delicious treats. Make sure you stay tuned to watch my next tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.